Hi and welcome to this Hearts for Learning Essential Maths video on how to play Crooked Drills. How to play Crooked Drills. Crooked Drills is a really simple game, you don't need a lot of equipment. All you need is a dice, paper, pencil and someone to play against. In this video we're going to be looking at two different versions of Crooked Drills. This is version one, nicely. First thing to do is decide on the winning criteria. So is the winner going to be the person who creates the greatest number, smallest number, or if you're up for a challenge, closest to a target number. Each player then draws a simple table with one box per digit. This can be adjusted to be age appropriate. More guidance on what is age appropriate according to the national curriculum can be found in the adaption section of this video. Player A then rolls the dice and then decides where to place the number shown on their own grid. Play passes to player B. And play just repeats like this until either both tables are filled or it becomes clear that one player has won before the tables are filled. You'll see an example of that in the clip coming up. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to play Crooked Rules. Crooked Rules is a great game for year three upwards. It looks at place value and what digits actually mean. So what you need to play this game is a dice, some paper and someone to play against. So the first version we're going to play is nicely and our winning criteria we've decided this time is going to be simply greatest number wins. So I'm going to draw myself a box. Now, I'm going to play with five digits. So we're talking about tens of thousands. Player B is going to draw their box as well. Five gaps. Don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, so I'm going to go first. I've got a six. And we're going for greatest number. So I'm going to put my six in here, which means I'm going to get at least 60,000. Player B didn't put their five in there because we're going for greatest number. And that means I'm going to... I've got another six. So I'm on 66,000, which means I've won. Because even if player B gets a 6, 65,000. Should we play again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, you can go first this time, player B. 3, where are you going to put it? 30. Okay. One. Low value. I'm going to put it in there. Play B. It's currently you've got 32. Low value. I'm going to put it in there. Mine's 21. I'm hoping it's some big numbers. One. Yeah, you don't want to put it there, do you? Five. Now, based on how this is going, I'm going to put my five. I think I'm going to put my five here and hope they don't get six. Number five as well. Where are you going to put it? You're going to put it in there. Oh, it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be a tight game. One. Oh, if I put my one there, I now have 15. 50,121. You got 50,132. Oh, it comes down to the last dice. You've got a three. Okay, in order to win this, I need a four, five, or six. Four, five, or six. And I got a one. Play B wins. I got 51,121. Player B got. 53,132. They just win.
Okay, so now onto version two, the not so nicely version. Game is played really similar to how the nice version is played. The only difference is you don't have to put the numbers on your board. You can put the numbers on the opponent's board. Games can be over very quickly in this version. So when playing nasty, you can put numbers on your own board, or you can put the number on the other player's board if you choose. So greatest number wins. Player B, do you want to go first for a change? Okay. Four, you're going to keep that and put it on your own board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four. Hmm. I'm going to pop it on my own board this time. Four. Again. Ooh, you put it on my board. <laughs> Let's hope I get a really low number. And then I'm going to put it on your board. Six. I'm not giving you a six, that's for sure. You've got, f I'm going to put a six here. Six hundred. Four. Where are you going to put it? Ooh. I'm just a little bit ahead if you get a four there. Two. I'm going to put the two here. And that means I win because I've got 44,600 and something. Player B has 24,400 and something. There's lots of ways this game can be adapted. Firstly, as we've already discussed, you could change the rules for winning, so greatest number, smallest number, or closest to. The new, there's an example of a closest to game later on in this video. If you haven't got dice, you could use playing cards. You could order the numbers using the greater than or less than signs. You could add an extra round, and the winner is the person who has the greatest total or smallest total when the numbers are added together, or the smallest difference between the numbers if the numbers are subtracted. You could change the number of boxes, or you can make them decimals. On the screen you can see there's um, a little example of the National Curriculum Requirements by Year Group showing what numbers the children should know place value wise and their decimal place value as well. We've put there that in years 5 and 6 numbers up to 1 million or up to 10 million that gets a bit silly with that many boxes so it's better to either go for a decimal version or to play closest to. Okay this time we're still playing nicely so I'm still only putting numbers on my game board but the way that you can win this time is closest to, what should we say, 30,000 wins. So we've got to think a little bit more carefully about where we put those numbers. So same as before, drawing the game board. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, made it a bit big there. Doesn't matter. Play B. No, oh, different way of doing it. How many boxes? Five. Five. Okay. So remember, closest to 30,000 wins. Three. I think that can go there. Hmm. Thinking carefully, where's that two going to go? All right. One. So I'm on 31,000 at the moment. Oh, interesting. One again. I'm going to be pretty close, I think. Two. Yeah, you can't put it there, can you? Because you know you'll lose straight away if you put it there. Five. I think that's quite a high number, so I'm going to put that in a low value box. One. Well, can you win? We well, can carry on, but even if you get a three, I can't win. Can't win, even if you get a three. Because you got, I've got these 
and you would still be further away. So I win again. Just some last notes about this game. So this game supports development of place value knowledge. When you have made the numbers, do make sure that you encourage your children to read the numbers out in full, not just digit value. So as the example there shows, that should be read as 12,305, not 12305. Also, when playing the closest to version, children often forget that numbers greater than the target number can still be closer, as shown in the example. Well, that's how to play Cricket Drills. Thank you for joining us and look out for the other videos that we have in this series.